Hello everyone. Okay, so today we're going to cover doing a grass replacement. Okay, so going to just run our quick swap grass and then we'll brush our grass. So we just brush now. So what's happening is I'm losing color in the shadows because that's what I set it to and to change it I actually wanted to let you see what happens here in the shadows that's why I just left my settings on that um, I can change my default settings of the shadows layer but first I want to get I want to figure out how do I even know what's the right settings to use so um, to figure that out I'm going to open my smart uh, filter double click on this UN saturation and let's change this color a bit in the shadows we can add more color we can change it to something like that looks like it's matching and then is that dark enough yeah I think that's fine okay oh I didn't check the settings now okay so it's 23 6 and 35 um, now we need to go to our settings in greenery click on the three dots and then we're looking for our shadows layer UN saturation options okay so what do we have here let's see double click that so it's 23 6 and minus 35 23 6 minus 35 so 23 6 minus 35 and then you can click the X to save those settings so just make sure you click the X then it saves and now when we do it again it should be right okay so it's got my s new settings there 23 6 and 35 minus 35 okay you can you can import your own grass if you like uh, I'll cover that in another video uh, I'll make a video on how to import you can import any textures like skies or grass okay so there we go just need to go around there but I think that's fine um, so let's go into the next image I want to do different scenarios so we had some sunny cloudy and we got a lot of leaves here on the floor so I'll cover all of that let's do this one okay let's brush so you see the leaves there it's because I create masks like I did here there's a mask that gets created for your highlights and your shadows in order to keep the original shadow there um, because if you don't have that mask it looks kind of fake then you would have to mess around with this a lot try and manipulate it so just to keep it natural I have masks there and now but on a situation like this it's <coughs> kind of looks weird but that's fine we'll fix that now okay so got that now we open this folder and we'll open our double click on your highlights mask if this is the first time that, it, that you ever double click on a mask it should give you options like uh, view with properties so then just choose view with properties then it will open like this okay um, so now what we're gonna do to fix this is take the density down on the highlights maybe something like that do we need to do shadows let's check no nah, not really so now what we need to do is we need to match the new grass with the grass that was there and that you, you can do in your UN saturation so we'll take this make it darker 
and maybe change this color a bit, the hue. I think something like that. Let's see, let's see if we can bring back a bit more of that that shadows. Uh, we don't want to see the shape of the leaves though, but we do want it to look a bit more natural. We can even take down the opacity. Although, don't think it's necessary. You can just maybe fade, use a black brush, and maybe fade the edge a bit. Not on 100, but... You just need to get the proper color and maybe levels also let's try levels okay wait before you double click on the levels the levels is there's a smart filter so it's it's not showing because it's at the bottom the levels is at the bottom of the hues uh, it's not showing um the the it's not showing accurately so cancel first drag your levels up above the hues like that and now double click on levels and then you can see what it's actually going to look like <coughs> so with the levels actually looks better now there you go so that looks like it matches a bit better uh, do the next one Brush it in. I'm going to show you what you can do with an edge like this. Make your brush small. Click on the one end, then hold shift and click on another end. And it goes in a straight line like that. If you go over, then just click X on your keyboard to swap to black. Then you just do the same thing just to clean it up a bit and then you can make your brush bigger again click x again to swap to white make sure you are on white if you want to add grass there you go like i said you can import your own grass or you can change to a different different uh, built-in grass texture Oh, here we go. That's what I also wanted to show you. I actually chopped off my grass and I saved it with like um, white at the top section so that it places to the bottom. But I'll, I'll make an update where it kind of does it without having to chop your grass off like that with white. Um, I did it with the skies, but I, I must still create a, a, a feature where it does that for the grass as well um, so what we need to do is just unlink that and unlink that then click onto this layer and hold shift and click on the bottom layer click on your choose your move tool and then make sure that auto select is off and show trans transform controls is on and as you can see my grass is here at the bottom it can go a bit up there and I can stretch it a bit more at the top like that and enter and then just click onto your quick swap grass mask again at the top choose your brush and you can continue I'll make it a bit more simpler in an update I'll try and figure something out for that So yeah, that is your grass replacement. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, let me know in the Chaotic uh, Facebook group if you guys have any suggestions for uh, features or tutorials. Uh, Till next time, bye-bye.